internet, you might notice that it's dark outside, and that's because it's four o'clock in the morning. I like the hair. I'm thinking of a, I'm thinking about a whole new style, you know. If anybody got that reference, I'll give you a fucking cookie. Um, it's four o'clock in the morning because I just got home from seeing The Hobbit in standard. I didn't see it in a 48 uh, FPS. I really want to. I just figured for this first showing, I'm going to be like freaking out. And I, I just, I want to enjoy it. Um, I heard that it might, it's a, it's a little hard getting used to the 48 FPS. Um, but I still want to see it. Um, I went with a good, uh, good group of friends, Andrea, um, Robbie, Stacy, Jenny, who was crying. Like fucking the theater went dark and she was like, ah, and then the fucking Warner Brothers logo came on and she was like, ah, and then, oh God, it was a beautiful moment. Beautiful moment. Um, as for the movie itself, I mean, it's kind of the big blockbuster for right now. Um, when Christmas happens, there's going to be Django Unchained and uh, uh, Les Miserables, which I still want to see, but um, I don't... Those are going to be good for different reasons. I really enjoyed The Hobbit, um, and this is somebody who, who got into the Lord of the Rings series from the movies. I, uh, I saw, I saw Fellowship and I fell in love with the world. And then I went back and I read the books. Um, I still haven't read the Hobbit. I have it. I have a wonderful version of it, but it's just one of those books that's been on my shelf that I've been wanting to read even after the movie was announced. Um, but I think along the way I made a decision to, wait for the movie to see what it did to my, maybe to give me visual. Cause you know, I'm a very visual person. I, it's not that I have a bad imagination. Um, cause J I read the Bourne books and those were, those are nuts. I highly suggest the original Ludlum Bourne books are crazy. Um, anyway, um, I haven't been filled with a sense of childlike wonder and excitement from a movie in a long time. Or at least not that I can remember, because like Avengers, Avengers was cool. I don't, I don't know if if I felt the same way as I did with this, because this world, the, I I can't explain it, but the 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 world that Peter Jackson created with these Lord of the Rings movies is remarkable, a, a, amazing, and unique. All of the dwarves were wonderful. They each had their own time to shut fucking Bomber. Jesus Christ. Like, uh, there's so much good in this movie. And yes, there's the classic Randall Graves, uh, slash Kevin Smith, uh, review of all those motherfuckers did in that movie was walk. There's a lot of, there's a lot of scenes where it's a bunch of wide shots and they're walking. It's Lord of the Rings. It's, you, you kind of expect that. Um, but that didn't take away from it. The score, Howard Shore knocked it out of the park again amazing score, which I'm going to go inside and download. I'm still amped up. I mean, I've got work in the morning, but, and I, but I had an energy drink just to make sure that I would stay awake. And I just, I can't get over it. It, it, it was really good. I really enjoyed myself despite it being a three hour movie at midnight. I wasn't ever like, Oh man, I'm about to fall asleep. Uh, some, I mean, some people might, that whole experience is over, but being able to go and experience it with an audience that could super like appreciate it and with friends who could super appreciate it, we could talk about it and, and just have a good time. I won't, I mean, I won't get another experience like that until uh, Desolation of Smog comes out. I don't, I, I just didn't want to, I don't want to spoil the movie. It's really good. If you don't have plans to see The Hobbit for any sort of reason, you should. Because the acting's amazing, the writing's amazing, oh, there's a lot of great dialogue in it. And if you're a fan of the original movies or books, or if you're just a fan of the original movies, there's still a lot for you. There's a lot for everybody. Damn, it was good.